This is math uh, 88, pro, uh, section 4.6, and we are working on logarithmic scales. So logarithmic scales are just scales that aren't linear scales. So a really good example of that is the way that we talk about er earthquakes, the Richter scale. So you've heard of things that, like, it's a 4.7 on the Richter scale or something like that. So the Richter scale, I'll just I'll ignore, like, the point parts. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You know, it just keeps going up. And supposedly it, it can't get all the way up to 10. It kind of maxes out at there. Like 8.6 is a huge, massively destructive uh, earthquake. So this is, these, these values for the Richter scale, if they had a 3, 3 on the Richter scale, or a 4 on the Richter scale, these are, these are called orders of magnitude. And what they're telling you is basically the level of intensity of the of the um, of the earthquake. But here's the deal: like a change from two to three in order of magnitude actually changes by a factor of ten. So a three. Um, on the Richter scale is 10 times more intense than a 2. So if I go from a 2 all the way up to a 4, notice that's a, a change of 2 in the order of magnitude. My change in here is actually 10 twice. It's not 20, it's 10 to the second power. It's actually 100 times more intense. So it actually changes by a factor of 100. This is how logarithmic scales work. Decibel, the way that we measure sound, is a type of logarithmic scale. Um, pH is another type of logarithmic scale. So basically on the Richter scale, every time you go up by 1 on the order of magnitude, you're actually increasing by a factor of 10. So if I just think about like, uh, how about a 4 up to an 8? Notice that's a change of 4 in my order of magnitude, but it's not two times intense or four times intense, it's actually ten four times, like multiplied by itself four times, so that'd be a, a one with four zeros. So it's actually ten thousand times more intense, that factor. So I could ask you some questions like, if I had a change of three in my order of magnitude, what's my increase in the, the factor? So if the order of magnitude is 3, the factor is 10 to the third, which is 1,000. Or if I could say something like it decreases by a factor of 10,000, what's my order of magnitude decrease? Notice 10,000 um, 10, is 10 to the fourth power. You've got those four zeros. So my order of magnitude change is 4. So basically you have this relationship between the intensity of it, which is that, and the order of magnitude, which is that exponent when it's 10 to the. So the, the questions are going to be these types of questions, given this or given that. Sorry about that. Little crash, drop my calculator. Given this or given that. All right. Uh, send me questions if you have any questions on that lecture.